Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. This is going to be a fun one, it's going to be super competitive, it's going to be very interesting, but Austin is back on the channel today. Um, you guys liked him in the, in the video we did a couple little bit ago, so decided to decided to make it happen again. But today we're playing 9 holes, stroke play, and Austin is Austin, Austin is starting at 4 under par. And uh, I'm even right now, or, yeah I'm even right now starting. So we're starting on hole number 1, we're playing Waters Creek. He's never played this course, so I have a bit of an advantage there, but it's not it's it's pretty it's pretty gettable it's pretty straightforward i'm gonna go first lead us off i got three wood austin's got a couple clubs there but i think it's gonna be fun and i'm gonna need to play some good golf because austin's playing pretty good right now it's tough to follow All right, I got 199 to the flag. A little bit of tree trouble. Nothing crazy. I'm not trying to do too much of this. Just get up there around the green. If it gets on, great. If not, we'll get up and down, make our par. I didn't want to hit five iron. I was going to bring that that tree into play. I knew I wasn't going to hit it very high off that lie. All right, guys. I got 120 yards. Uh, I'm going to go a little 51 degree here, and uh, it's just kind of a nice full swing. Don't got to do too much with it. be the number just to scope short but got a good look at birdie i tell you i gotta be making those he likes he likes that skosh word lately skosh all right just a little flip wedge here i need to get this close not drop one early Bite. all right guys i am working with about 10 10 12 feet here for birdie Let's see if i can cash this one in and get started Never gave it a chance. Well, I got my par. I'm even. Austin is putting for par to stay at four under. Such a good putt. No freaking way. Mine broke a ton. That's a little interesting. I mean, Austin gave up two on the first. He is still two. Uh, he is still two under, but. There's a lot of golf to play, and there's some really gettable holes out here. So I'm even. Austin's two under on oh, hole number two. Two under, is, correct. You're right. Yeah. So, which is a shorter par four. You can hit driver. You can hit three wood. Whatever you want to do. But let's get on with it. All right, guys. We got a relatively short hole here. It's about 345 uh, to the pin. It plays a little uphill, so a little bit longer than that. But I'm hitting driver, and uh, just gonna just gonna send it here. Well, guys, um, Austin's ball was right here, and there's nothing up here, and we have we couldn't find his ball anywhere. But there was a cart here right when he hit, and I think his ball rolled up, and we saw her pick something up, but we wasn't sure if it was his ball or not. So I think it was his ball, and it was right here. So he's gonna take a drop here, just because there's nothing around to where we would lose it. So all right, gotta get this one up. Stop pretty quick. Pigs up there, nice in the bunker. Alright guys, I got this to uh, get to one under, and Austin's two under, he tapped in for his four, so this be good. Four. We both made fours there, Austin remains at two under, and I am currently even, and we're on to our first part three of the day. Guys, the thing about today that makes it different than me just like giving Austin four strokes to his handicap is... He just started at four under, so like he's not getting strokes on the hardest holes. 
um, he's getting them on just nine holes. So he's, that's what makes it different than me just giving him handicap strokes. So a little bit more competitive for both of us. It makes it harder for him, makes it harder for me because I don't think in real life he would be getting eight strokes. I don't know, but that's what makes it different. All right, guys, we got 147 today, short, short par three here. Um, I'm gonna be hitting just a smooth pitching wedge, Austin. I don't know what he's gonna be hitting, but I'll let him tell you. Be all over it. One ball. Oof. Sit. Right at it. Dude, when that landed, I thought Good if swing. it goes forward, it might have a chance. That go. I've got pitching wedge as well. This one shouldn't spin quite as much. If it gets there. Gosh, he just he just put it like three feet inside of me. Gosh dang, that was amazing. All right, guys, mine is just outside of Austin, so he's got about 12 feet. I got about 15, but I got another straight putt here. See if I can get one of these three first ones to drop for birdie. That'd be kind of nice. Oh my gosh. Well. par 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 start for me Austin has an opportunity to get to uh, three up here he's got a downhill little we'll tester here out here make on birdies on par threes goodness got it got one back I needed it after a double on one we needed that Thank well you. Austin goes three up after he's back to three under and I am currently at even we're on to a par five man you sneak one out on a par three like that you just got away with some. Well, we got a par five. Austin is actually has honors here. You just want to hit it at that bunker. He's got a hybrid. It's a great club. Yeah, that's really all you want to do here. And then you can sometimes get there in two if you hit a good one. Good left. It hit something, but it is pretty open over there, and there is a hazard over there. So if you can't find it, there will be a drop. Good swing. Sit. Usually like that to draw a little bit, but from there it's gonna be a long ways in. All right, guys, I got about 280, and uh, I'm actually just gonna hit. I'm gonna lay up just because it's kind of a side hill lie. Um, I'm gonna hit eight iron just so I can get over that tree. I've been trying to like pay attention to my like where my ball's landing because I usually can't see very good but it's down here. You actually found it? Oh yeah. I'm not allergic to poison ivy I don't think. It's out. Austin's got a little work here. He's hitting his third shot from about 330. So he's looking to looking to lay this up probably and then go from there. Little stingray. <laughs> that just got a kick of destiny. We're gonna make more. <laughs> and it's that kicked right back in. It's probably just right side of the fairway, and it's inside the 150. So that was that was something. We got one 128 with the flag. We need to get this up and down. Get out of here with par. Dude, you hammered that. Did you yeah. I got 109 here to the flag. I'm gonna hit a little sand wedge, a little 56 degrees. What? Sit. Nice shot. Got another birdie butt though. All right, this is tough. I like this chip. that to bounce like once more before it got on. All right guys, I got about 30 feet for here for birdie, so very short, but I'm gonna give it a run. A little bumpy, a little short. That'll be a double. Oh, wow. A little victory lap on that one. A little victory lap, but I got my par, and Austin made a very unfortunate double there. 
and that takes him to one under and I'm at even. So he's beating me by one through four holes and we got we got a lot of golf left to play. So let's get let's on with this. Let's get on with the action here. We got, we've made double, we've made par, <laughs> we've made birdie. We just gotta, now you just gotta make a bogey. All right guys, hole number, what is this, five? Yeah. Pretty simple par four, 380, goes to the right. I'm hitting two iron. is in the bunker man i hit that just where i wanted so to dead gummit and it uh so it went in the bunker but it was struck really really well I got 111 to the pin. Just gonna hit a little knockdown 50 on the blue. Five for five so on the So much. Those damp bunkers, that's what happens. Yeah, let me get you, sir. Alright, thanks, brother. Yeah, in a little bit of trouble. Gotta find a way to get out of it. We didn't get out of it. All right, guys, I got about 25 feet for birdie here. And this is, you know, low percentage putt, but a high percentage of confidence. Settle ball. Hey, I'm not leaving them short. That's a good thing. That ball just died out of there. Just like that, after four holes, we're all square. It's all square. Five, five holes, right? After five holes, yeah. it's all square. All right, guys, hole number six is a really funky hole, but you kind of want to just hit five iron, and basically you just hit it right. You want to just be just left of the 150, and that's what I want today. Just right of the fairway, I think I'm gonna like that angle. That's actually very interesting. All right, guys, me and Austin Bosley, wow, both have the same number here 179. I'm gonna hit eight iron. Oh, that's pure. Got a birdie putt, but it's a, another really freaking long one. All right, 179, about the same number as take. He was a little bit short. I'm gonna take one more, try and push it back there a little bit further. So can't get one back. Alright guys, I got another 25 footer here for birdie. It's gonna go a little bit to the left, I believe. I can fly. <laughs> I thought that was in, dude. When I when it was about halfway there and it was just getting staying nice and smooth. Gosh dang. It is about as clutch as it comes. Woo! We're hanging in there. Things hanging are getting there. fired up here. We're all square with three to play. We have a par five, a par four, and a par three. So there's, we got the trio left, if that's whatever it's called. I don't, I have no idea what that means, but the trio. it is all square. That's what it is. And we got a, par, yeah, onto a par five. That was a huge up and down by off. Par five, I got driver. It's time to get, time to get crazy here.
That's gonna be awfully close, guys. Awesome I'm gonna hit a provisional because I'm not 100% sure mine is in. Oh, it's beat. Oh, that's There's a will, there's a way. Be hitting three. And then touch the ground. I just hit three off the tee box. I'm gonna be hitting four from about 180. So, gotta make par. It's like 200 yard carry. I think I'm fine. I think I'm gonna go for it. Just kind of sling one right over the top of this tree. Long is better than short, so we're probably gonna go with a little. Probably gonna hit five iron. Gonna hit four iron instead of five. Playing a little bit longer. Well, you hit it like that, you could hit five iron, but you're just absolutely pure in it today. I almost hit the flag. I know. Well, that was good. All right, guys, I got 176. I'm gonna hit a smooth eight iron. Actually, it's gonna be a pretty firm eight iron with this wind. Give me the number. Oh, oh baby, he's got that for far. Dang, got a par putt. Feels like it should be eagle, but it's fine. Par's a par. Well, guys, that was crazy. I mean, it was downhill the whole way. He landed it right on the front, and that thing just somehow just kept picking up speed. He's got to get up and down for par now. We both got some work to do for what our par. Catastrophe! It happens. That is a par for the century, right there, dude. Awesome. That keeps me at even, and Austin's now putting to stay at even from uh, about 30, 30, 30 feet here. Mm. Dang. That was a great putt. Left it on the high side. Not what you want to see for the bogey. We were, we were here in two. Mistakes happen. We got two holes. We'll get it back. Should be uh, me one over to take even par. Yep. All right, guys, hole number eight here is pretty much straight away. About 400 yards, but I'm going to be hitting, uh, I'm going to be hitting all three wood. Guys, I think that's going to be in a little bit of trouble there. I think it really is. That's unfortunate. It'd be good if you picked it up that quick. Yeah, Alright guys, I got 130 yards. A little bit of a little bit of a situation here, but I don't think it's nothing I can't get out of just by going over these trees. Well, I kind of was expecting it to be just a little bit short because I had to hit 56 to get over that tree, so got a birdie putt. I wanted to get that on, but we'll take it. Gotta get this up and down. I don't want any chance going into the last. Keep it a run. All right, guys, I got another 20 footer here, 25 feet. Oh, come on. Well, that is just currently that's eight pars in a row for me. Just nothing too adventurous, man. Just keeping it keeping it nice and calm out here, I guess. Can't be mad. Dude. Yeah, that was very unfortunate. That was like a power lip out, like a grant lip out. And then I mean I gave him that that one for Bowie. So that puts Austin at two over. 
and I'm at even par with one hole to play. Just finish strong for me and see if I can wrap this up. All right, last <laughs> hole of the day here, hole number nine. I got P wedge, it's 150 yards. Get over the bunker. Bunker? Yeah. I might have a chance, I gotta make birdie. Oh, I'm right there with the pig. You go still in the bunker? I think I'm right at it, but yeah. Oh, <laughs> great swings. Yeah, we got some work to do for our pars. All right, guys, well, I'm short in the bunker, and I need to get this up and down to keep my par streak alive. Sit, 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 sit. Well, that's a little long. We can make par. That is the worst top I've ever seen. Alright, we got ourselves a situation. Alright, this is for par. Finish it two over. Pig's got that for double to also finish it two over. clutch this was not that is it's super unfortunate for me to finish with a double but I did I did get the win technically Austin shot three over I shot two over and I mean that was just crazy there was there was like some back and forth but I did win by one but that was a fun video um, I, I feel like it was pretty competitive yeah it was it was competitive had a few mishaps you had one on the last I had a few here and there across most around but yeah Struck the ball well. It was a good format. I think I like playing that way better than you know having pops here and there because it just makes you. It's just you just play kind of play straight up stroke play and then see where you go from there. It's not like you're playing different holes to your advantage because you got a pop or whatever. So yeah, I like so, that. I like that format. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more of these and uh, we'll make it happen. But thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the support. Love you guys. Peace.